everybody, Max here from Max Playground, and welcome to a Sims 2 speed building video. This is a speed building video of a boardwalk that I am making in my BACC neighborhood. And my BACC neighborhood is more of a tropical hood. And if you're not sure what a BACC is or a build a city challenge is, it's a, challenge, it's a pretty common challenge in The Sims 2 that some people play where they <clears throat> you basically have to build up a city and you play very integrated so if your sim wants to buy something they have to go to a business and if that business isn't built yet in the sims uh, hood uh, you can't go you can't get it you don't really get much of the catalog etc so uh, some people play very rules based where I don't. I don't play rules based, very rules based. I have some rules that I do play and some things that I do follow when it comes to BACC, but I kind of just loosely play. So for example, um, you are most, you're only supposed to build um, community lots that your sims can visit, like public lots and stuff, um, with taxes that your sims pay where I'm on the fourth round, so you play rotationally, and I'm on the fourth round, and I have not had my sims pay any taxes. Um, I'm kind of making it where when I finally, when I get my, my one sim that's in the politics career to a certain level, I'm gonna build a, um, I'm gonna build a city hall, and it's gonna be, that's when sims are gonna start paying taxes, and the way I see it is that, um, SimCity has been providing funds to the architect, so I have an architect and a and a um, an architect and a, uh, a mayor, a politician, and those are the two jobs that I had unlocked at the beginning. And then I eventually am, oh, and, and now that I've had a burglar, I have a police officer uh, unlocked, and then it also unlocked the criminal career. And I haven't had a criminal yet. I haven't made a criminal yet, but it un it's unlocked. Um, so yeah, I have, I have, uh, I'm gonna ha I'll start them having to pay taxes once I get my city hall built. And then the Sims, like, are, are gonna have to, you know, pay, like, 10% of their, of their, um, income. Or, like, their 10% of, like, what they, their household funds, I guess you could say. Or five, I'm not sure yet, it depends. And uh, yeah, so I might do that, or I might look into how Cindy or Pleasant Sims does for taxes, I, taxes for her game. I kind of just want to see that, see if it's something that I can like accomplish. But uh, yeah, I um, I plan on doing that, and then uh, so I have a couple of uh, I have like a library, and I have um, a beach lot that was right when I started the BACC. Because I it, like in a lot of the rules, it's like you can have like one public lot that your sims can meet up on, and I picked that one. Like I chose that off of the sims because again, it's in a tropical hood, right? So, yeah. Um, and then I have a couple of businesses and stuff. I haven't built too many of the houses myself. I built like two of them. Um, I downloaded a lot of the like beachy style houses from a certain creator. I forget the name, like. It's from the Perry Perry hood or, or something like that. It's a beach hood, and I she had uh, they have all their houses uploaded on to their their account, and uh, I'll uh, I'll leave a, I'll try to remember to leave a link below. Um, but yeah, I've been I, I've been using all their houses, and then I built um, a, a farm kind of person like a like who does a lot of gardening, like a gardener type of uh, of house uh, in the same style as you know the how their houses and it's actually they're at, it's actually my favorite household to play with um he is in he's the farmer and he's married to the architect and they just had a baby they had a really pretty wedding and they just had a baby and i'm just i'm very excited about <laughs> about it um i want to start posting my updates on uh, tumblr and my gaming instagram um I'm thinking of doing that. I just have to do it. <laughs> um, this is kind of like my little like project that I've been doing. I've been having a lot of fun with this hood and just you know playing, uh, playing, just playing. Um, that's what I've been doing, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've been trying to practice, or I've been trying to like 
not practice, but um, learn new building techniques. And this was one of them. Um, I learned how to build, uh, build over water on a beach slot, which I know it doesn't sound like it's too hard, but if you know The Sims and you play The Sims, you know that beach lots are very finicky. Uh, and I followed like a little tutorial and I used the, um, the train floor elevation sheet or CFB, which is a complicated sheet for both The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. You can't really use it in The Sims 4, but uh, yeah, I, um, I've kind of been exploring with that sheet and learning how to do things that I never really did before. Um, so yeah, I, uh, the three buildings that I did that you see me working on, uh, right now, I'm working on the ice cream parlor and the other one, as you can see, is an arcade. It's not done yet. And then the other building that I am, that I did, that I chose to do is a hookah lounge. And it is my favorite building, not because I like to um, indulge in smoking activities, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's because I uh, I just thought it'd be really fun to have for certain sims, and I feel like this lot in general would be a really fun place to bring my teens. I don't have any teen sims yet, but I do have two babies and another one on the way now. So I'm gonna have three babies that are going to grow into teenagers and uh, I'm really excited for that because it's going to be a lot of fun to bring my teenagers here. I wanted to make a lot, not just for teens, but also for sims that were, it's like recreational, it's fun. You know, there's an arcade, there's a self-serving ice cream parlor, there is an, a hookah lounge and the hookah, again, the hookah lounge is my favorite. I don't have a ton of content where you get to see me building it, but I will um, I will be giving a tour. I haven't recorded it yet, but I wanted to record a tour at the end of this video so you guys can see it. It'll be really fun, uh, so stay tuned for that, or just kind of skip to the end if you really don't care about me blabbing on about the build. Uh, if you do, if you like this video so far, please do um, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. If you want to see more content, I have been a little spotty with uploads and I'm just going to talk about that right now really quickly. Um, I'll try to make it quick and uh, <laughs> quick and simple, but um, I have been missing a little bit. I, I've gone the last two years. My channel hasn't been super busy. Uh, I focused a lot last year on streaming and I've kind of fallen off with that. Like I, I tried to come back and then I took another break and then I'm taking and then I came back again and now I'm <laughs> taking another break and um, the reason for that is I I don't I, I, I candidly talk about this in some of my videos I candidly talk about it on stream. Um, I really do struggle with uh, mental health issues. And I also have a lot of physical health issues, like I am on dialysis, uh, waiting a kidney transplant, and I sh got a diagnosis of uh, CPTSD, and I've been in therapy for the last two years. Um, I just, I've experienced a lot in my life, and um, I'm finally taking control of my mental health and really working on it with my therapist. It's been two years and that I, since I've started doing therapy and it finally is starting to really dawn on me how much it's helped me and I am really proud of myself. Uh, the last two years I've really worked on a lot of self-love and body positivity. Um, I spent like since I was eight years old struggling with body image issues and it's finally starting to go away I should say kind of um, even though I know it's always gonna be there uh, I am working really hard on loving my body and loving myself as a person and being proud of myself so that's kind of where I'm at um, I'm really working on my anxiety I still really struggle with anxiety and I've been working really hard on that and sometimes streaming 
just amplifies my anxiety. So I've been kind of taking a step back when I feel anxious and I feel anxious a lot. So I've been trying to work through it, but again, it's not an easy, it's not easy. So yeah, um, I am trying my best to work through it and get back to content creation. Uh, so videos and streaming and stuff, but yeah, I just want you guys to know I uh, I adore the support you guys have continuously given me even on my breaks and then when I come back and stuff So I just want to say thank you and that I am doing well and I tried to make that short, but it, it, it that didn't go very well <laughs> It's not that short. I'm sorry. Um, I am working on the, uh, the hookah part right now and uh, the hookah shop Air the I guess the hookah, hookah lounge I guess and uh, it's I, I get I went with an orange and yellow theme and I'm really loving it uh, I love the color orange I know some people really don't like orange like orange red and yellow uh, I think those colors go really well together so um, I tried to make it very chill I have uh, these conversions from uh, Castaway stories, the Sims, the Sims Castaway stories. Uh, they're the um, the drums, that like bongo drums almost. And uh, I I got those, and I, I just found it like a very hippie lounge. I found this would be a cool place for your your teen Sims to hang out in and stuff. So I put like some bongo drums and like a rug in the middle, and then like a yellow couch. I think it's a conversion from The Sims Four. Not sure which, I think it was maybe paranormal stuff, I think, I don't know. But uh, yeah, and then I put like a smoothie, like a thing where you can make smoothies for yourself. And I just thought it would be really chill. I put a bunch of plants, which you guys will see when I do the tour. And uh, yeah, it, it was really fun to make. I was like, I made this, like I stayed up all night when, like this week doing this because I, I couldn't sleep. and. I was like, oh well, might as well like finish this building up. So I finished it up doing like over when I, like over a whole night, and um, I was just having so much fun. I was like, I can't, I can't, I need to, I need to finish this. And it was just, it was again, like I said, it was just so much fun doing this lounge. I love doing community lots. They're really fun. I did a, um, I did a library. I made a library. Uh, recently too and I made it like kind of tropical and I chose a tropical hood because I love tropical hoods I think I already said that and I really struggle building in that style like if you know like 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 colorful uh, out there kind of builds not like whimsical color. like I don't know how to describe it if you know tropical builds in that kind of sense like the colorful type of tropical builds I really do struggle with that and so I'm trying to make a lot of the the the, the the community lots and stuff colorful and out there so I made a library and it was just it was so much fun and it's like the main place where my sims go to like use computers because I haven't really I I, I I barred like computers I, I some sims have TVs but computers I find would be once my like one of my sims opens up like an electronic shop which they have to maximize hobbies their hobby in certain things so um, either like tinkering or uh, games and uh, I haven't had a sim that's been really interested or bought a membership at the games place so I'm I'm gonna I'm waiting until that comes and yeah, so uh, I, I, I don't have cars or anything like that either. I'm wait I have one sim that's like into tinkering and I'm getting him to fix up some cars so he can open a lot to sell them and then that's when it like my sims will buy be able to buy cars and have cars kind of deal. But yeah, so right now uh, we are working on the arcade. I really wanted to make it like a um, like an old school type of arcade so I I like if you know if you know what I'm talking about if you know you know type of deal um, I really miss arcades there's such it's such a dying thing or it's already dead long gone uh, and it's so sad because arcades are despite them being expensive arcades are seriously just so much freaking fun like I or they can be expensive I, I really do miss arcades. Um, 
I there's not too many in my city anymore except for like at the movie theater and I don't really like going to the movies all that often so I don't really get to go to arcades all that much at all um, and but when I was when I was like a teenager I like in high school I used to I, I've talked about this maybe in a video but I know I've talked about this on stream uh, when I was in high school like grade 9 I used to um, I used to like skip class every once in a while and just spend like the whole day in the arcade. So like I'd save up all the ch like I'd I'd ru I'd rummage through my house for change. I'd save up like money that my parents give me from like my allowance or whatever. Or like I would ask my mom for like twenty bucks. And instead of like every once in a while, because I I used to I used to party a lot when I was in high school. When I was like in grade nine. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. Um, I. I, instead of buying like pot or, or, or booze, uh, I would spend my money on the arcade every couple weeks or every couple, you know, every couple weeks. And it was so much fun. I played so much pinball. Pinball is my jam. I've already talked about this before, but if I ever, or I always like talk about this, if I ever come into a substantial amount of money from like whatever, winning it or whatever, um, I, I've always said like I would make a home in-home arcade with a bunch of pinball machines and game cabinets and just all that kind of shit because it's just so much fun to me like it's so nostalgic it's so fun uh, I love pinball like I'll, I'll play I'll play pinball and solitaire on my computer well, I used to play it a lot, the pinball games, if you guys remember. If you know, you know. Um, I used to play a lot of that in Solitaire. It's another one of my favorite games. But yeah, that was the arcade. I had so much fun. I love the colors I chose. And here I am putting like a little souvenir thing because I imagine that, you know, that'd be like, that would totally be on the boardwalk. Um, on a boardwalk where, you, you know, like you can buy souvenirs and there's like the tropical one from Bon Voyage um, and then these are uh, well the, the red mailbox is actually functional and one of those um, it's functional you can like send letters and stuff um, one of the buildings that I want to create another like community building um, is uh, it's a it's a, um, a post office I want to make a post office so I, th I thought that would be kind of fun to put like a post box where you can um, send letters and stuff and then I also uh, have a like another cash that's the second cash register there is a thing you can use to like buy parcels and send certain things so I thought that would be kind of fun uh, to have um, I don't have any winter in this game however I do plan on um, still celebrating it out like one of the on during one of the seasons like winter in this in a tropical area kind of deal not winter sorry Christmas or win uh, snowflake day I guess you could say in a tropical area it would be kind of fun so I'm just going around and adding a couple of lights um, I did add an area where your sim could get like their picture taken and stuff I have like a camera there that would be kind of fun um, I hope you guys did enjoy this though I had so much fun building it I think I'm gonna start kind of uh, recording the buildings that I do for this neighborhood but yeah um, I hope you guys do enjoy it I uh, I will not have well maybe I'll have it up for download just check the check the links the links in the description below also if you want to please do give my social media a follow I have my Twitter I have my Facebook and I think I have my Instagram on there and I also have my um, my tumblr so if you guys want to see the CC that I do use, please do go check out the Tumblr. I literally reblog everything, 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 even things that I don't have in my game. I reblog it. I love my Tumblr. So if you want to go check that out, please do. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are and stay tuned for the tour that is about to happen where you get to see inside this building. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, everybody. Uh, we're here doing the tour that I talked about in the speed build. So this is the the uh, boardwalk. I'm gonna do it in like tab mode so you guys can uh, see it. So we're gonna go and look at the bathroom that I didn't really show a whole lot of on the uh, in the video. So this is a um, 
bathrooms. You come up here. It's a little slow, which is really annoying, but so I'll just show you like the one bathroom. You know, they they're literally like identical. So it's not like the nicest. Like you know, like when you go to like a public beach or whatever, the you know, the bathrooms aren't really the nicest. So yeah, so it's just, I also included a changing table because I plan on bringing, um, you know, my toddlers here and stuff. First thing you see is the arcade. So I'll go show you guys the arcade. And this is the arcade, which I talked about like loving in the, I said loving in my, my speed build. You come out here and there is the the little area you can get some cotton candy you can get some popcorn you can get um there's like a crepes and like a crepes area here this is a sims 4 conversion but it's really cool and if you want to get oh i didn't mean to do that if you want to get your picture taken you can and there's like a little um person like a one of those statue guys and then this is the ferris wheel and it is awesome your sims can ride them together and then it's like a little bouncy castle that your sims kids could use and play in so you come back in through here and this is the um the super cute pink everywhere <laughs> uh ice cream shop um this is a odd modded object from uh crisps and kerosene that you can find on Tumblr. It's a conversion from The Sims 1. If you recognize it, power to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's like a little uh, ice cream parlor. It's a self-serving ice cream parlor that your Sims can like eat at. And then this is the outside. And then we're moving on to my favorite area, which is the... Um, hookah lounge which is again my favorite it was so much fun to do this i pictured this as a um like a teenage kind of hangout uh this is the um sushi it's like a not a sushi sorry it's a little like self-serving um smoothie place and then um lots of plants which you didn't really get to see in the speed build and then you come through here. It's like an area where, you, first of all, this is these are functioning bongo drums, and your sims can like sit here and like hang out and play and like watch each other play drums. And then back here is the hookah lounge, the hookah, the hookah part, <laughs> the hookah part of this lounge, I should say. Um, yeah, you can like sit here, hang out. I actually, I'm just, I really like this lot. It was so fun to play yesterday when I was sending my family here my one family here i'm so excited to get some teens in the area so that they can come here and hang out and just have dates here and stuff it's gonna be so much fun i really love this but yeah um so this is the tour and i hope you guys like it i'm gonna probably i'm gonna i think i think i might upload it to um to the to sims file share so keep an eye out for that link in the description and uh, don't forget to give this video a like thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye